All right, so let's solve a problem which I've paid in CBC exam uh, class 12th. And this question is asking us to find out a vector D, which is perpendicular to both C and B. And uh, then D dot A is actually equal to 21. So there are two methods to do it. So we'll try solving it using both methods. So first method requires us to assume a vector D in its component form. So we'll assume our vector D to be something like and xi cap plus yj cap plus yj cap plus zk cap. Now, what we have to do is that we have to satisfy all these conditions. So first condition is that, uh, let's use this d dot a equals to 21. So meaning that we have to do a dot product of d with a, and then you know that in dot product, we just have to multiply the components individually and sum it up. So my d dot a is 21. So what it gives me is, that x into four, which is four x, plus y into five, which is five y, and then z into minus one, which is minus z. And uh, that is actually equal to 21. So this is what is my first equation. So this gives me 21. Now, the other things are said here that D is perpendicular to C and B. So when something is a vector, two vectors are perpendicular. So we know that D dot C will be actually equal to zero. And similarly, d dot b will also be equal to zero. And we know that the reason behind it because the angle between them is 90 degree and because of that cos of 90 degree will be zero. So now we'll make use of this d dot c or d dot b equals to zero. Let's make a use of d dot b equals to zero. So d dot b equals to zero will make it x into one, which is x itself. And then y into minus four, which is minus four y. And then we will have z into 5 which is 5z and that is going to be equal to 0. So that is my second equation and my third equation would be I'll have to multiply uh, d and d dot c actually I have to do. So d dot c is going to be equal to 0. So d dot c is going to be equal to x into 3 which is 3x and then y into 1 which is y and then z into minus one, which is minus z, and that is actually equal to zero. So that is my third equation. Now we know that there are three variables here. So we want to first make it to two variable equation and then solve it. So what I do is I will try to eliminate one of the uh, variables. So in this case, I'll try to eliminate z itself. So if I want to eliminate z from first and second, what I have to do is that I have to multiply one with five and then I'll have to add it to second equation. So this is what I'll do. And what will happen here is that five into four when I do, and then add it to one, then I'll get 21 X. And then once I multiply five with five, I'll get 25. And when I add it to minus four, then I'll get again 21. So this will be um, 25 and then you are just adding it. So you will get plus 21 Y. Now, 5z minus 5z and plus 5z will cancel out. And then I've got 5 into 21 here. So if I take 21 common and eliminate, then what I'll get is x plus y equals to 5. So this is what is my first or rather fourth equation. Now what I'll do is I will try to eliminate z from first and third equation. So what I can do is I can just subtract 1 minus 3 and this will give me 4x minus 3x will be x itself and then 5y minus y will be 4y and that will give me 21. So this is going to be giving me 21. So this is my fifth equation. Now I'll just write x plus y below this and then eliminate x itself from here. And then what I get from here is if I do this subtraction, then I get 3y equals to 16. So from here I get y equals to 16 by 3. So from y I can get x also. So x will be 5 minus y, which will be 5 minus 16 by 3. And what will this give me? This will give me 3 into 5 will be 15. 15 minus 16 by 3 
which will give me minus 1 by 3. Okay, so this is x component, y component. Now I want to get z. So I could just substitute it in third equation. So let's do it here. So 3 into minus 1 by 3, that is what is my x, plus y is 16 by 3. And then I have to get z, so I can send z to the other side. So this is what it will be. So I can just take 3 LC and that will be easier to do. Minus 3 plus 16. And that is going to be equal to z. So z is going to be equal to 13 by 3. Okay. So once I got x, y, z, then my d vector is simply going to be x, i cap plus y, j cap plus z, k cap. So that will be minus 1 by 3 i cap plus 16 by 3 j cap. And then plus 13 by 3 k cap. So, yeah, this is the first method. What is my second method? So, second method says, like, if you've got two vectors and then a third vector is perpendicular to both, then uh, what you can do is you can do a cross product of it. And then this d vector is actually going to be equal to k times b cross c vector. So this is what is the idea. Then like now this vector, whatever this vector is going to be uh, perpendicular to B and C both. Uh, because mm, we know that, right? So if I do B cross C, right? So this vector will be sort of perpendicular to both. So this is B, this is C. So this is B cross C's direction. So what I'll do is I will just substitute B and C and then try to find out this. So this is I minus 4J plus 5K, right? So D vector would be, so let's find out first B cross C. So B cross C is going to be equal to, I have to write I, J and K cap. And then I'll have to write down the components here. So that will be 1 minus 4, 5. 1 minus 4 and 5 and then I will have 3 1 and minus 1 so 3 1 and minus 1 so simply we'll just expand it so I'll get i cap into minus 4 into minus 1 plus 4 plus 4 and then minus 5 and then then I'll have to do minus j cap minus j cap will be minus 1 into 1 which is minus 1 and minus 5 into 3 which is 15 and then plus k cap so plus k cap will be 1 and then uh, that will be 1 plus 12 so that will give me minus i cap and this will give me plus 16 j cap and then plus 13 k cap. Now, there is another information given to me. So, now my d is actually going to be k times k times this minus i cap plus 16 j cap plus 13 k cap. Now, d dot a is given to be 21. So, I'll do this d dot a equals to 21 to find out what is this k. Okay, so what is my A here? 4i plus 5j minus k. So let's write A here so that I could just do uh, the dot product, right? So the i is 4i plus 5j minus k. 4i cap plus 5j cap minus k cap. Okay, 4i cap plus 5j cap minus k cap. Now I can do this d dot a cap. So basically I have to multiply the x components. So minus k into 4 which will be minus 4k. And then 16k plus 5 which is 80k. And then 13k minus 1 will be minus 13. And that is going to be equal to 21. So this will give me 13 and 4 will be 17. And this is going to give me 63k. 63k is going to be equal to 21, right? 
So I'll get k equals to 1 by 3. Now I'll substitute it here. So my d vector is going to be equal to. So my d vector is going to be equal to 1 by 3 times minus i cap plus 16j cap plus 13k cap. And this is what we had got earlier too in from the other methods. So minus 1 by 3 i cap plus 16 by 3j cap plus 13 by 3k cap. So minus 1 by 3 i cap plus 16 by 3j cap plus 13 by 3k cap. All right. So yeah, this is all for this question. There are two ways to do it. Whichever you find it easier, you try it. Um, all right. So mostly this method seems to be a little easier because you do not have to solve equations like this. Okay. But it is up to you, whichever method you choose. If you've got any question about this, please do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.